As kids, we always would go to San Francisco for Giants games and go to the record stores and go to the hate district. So I think that like super, the hippie movement sort of like really imprinted on our brains from a young age. And I think hippie sabotage just makes sense with uh, representing both ends of our personality. We talk about the shows both before and after, and uh, I mean, we're pretty blunt with each other about it. You know, no, no pun intended with the weed joke. But no, so we just try and what works, what didn't work, what we are artistically trying to present, and how the audience is re reacting, and trying to meld all those different perspectives, and you know, just putting our artistic impulses into it as much as we possibly can. We're trying to kill the game, son. That's really what it is. It's if you sabotage season every year. We're always trying to take it to another level and and give something new to our fans who have seen us sometimes fucking 11 or 10, 12, 15 fucking times in the last couple of years. So we're just trying to keep it crazy and keep it fun. Man. When we were in London, I think we bought like 200 beers for the audience. I mean, it was like a crowd of three, 400 people. So half the crowd got a beer. And I think we bought a couple of bottles of Jack Daniels and we just handed them out to the crowd and it was like a two hour just extravaganza. It's uh, crazy because there, there's like some fans out there who know us, which is mind blowing, but because of the internet and everything, but really building a fan base and like mm -hmm. people who don't know you out there who showed up to those shows and, and trying to win them over just like we've done in the US like so many times. Like it's, it's dope. I love that feeling having like mm -hmm. 300 people who don't know you. You're all getting turned the fuck up and by the end of the night they're like, I'm coming back whenever you want. Know.